right, here's a little heater I put together back in July. And uh, it's just beginning to be November, but it's not really cold outside. We're in Louisiana. But when it gets cold, it's going to be bitter cold. But I just want to introduce you to it before we light. And I'll show you how well it drafts. That's what all about this video is about, drafting the smoke out of here. We're going to go in the room and you leave your door open. Watch the fire. You don't need a glass. Just leave the door open. But uh, I have vents down here that I can open and close. And uh, these come off of an old barbecue pit. This part here is part off of a drain off of a sink. I've got another one on the other side, which you can't see. It looks just like this one, but on the other side. And they are both open, but I'm gonna close them. They're not total closed, but they're pretty close to closed. Now right here is a little door that comes out. And there's a little pan right here, which catches all my ash. So I don't have to disturb the fire when I need to change the ash in there. Uh, I can rake around inside and it will fall in this pan. And then as the fire is going, I can change out the pan. Pull this pan out, put that one in. Slide the door back under there. Yeah. But anyhow, we're not here to look at all that. Oh, let me show you the rest while we're at it. I'm going to do that much. Added these handles right here. This is off of a, uh, this is a spring I've cut in two, two springs. Well, it was one spring. I cut it in two. And it come off of a, uh, those things you bounce on. Them, uh, you, you put them outside, you bounce on them. Yeah. Can't remember what you call them. I'll think of it in a minute to tell you. But anyhow, they come off of that. And uh, this come off of a barbecue pit of some kind. This piece of iron here come out of a left behind at a storage room. Um, up here, this is a 35 pound, I think, butane heater, I mean butane bottle that I cut down. I've added a temperature gauge here, it's magnetic. And uh, I added some hooky things here where I could add a few tools because I needed something to move the logs around or something. I have added a fan right here that runs off of uh, the heat. When it gets hot, it spins and pushes the heat out into the room. Also, here's a little shelf here where I can add something to uh, fragrance. If smoke does try to get in the room, a candle. A little baking soda to get rid of any kind of smells. I've got a thing of water up here where I can heat up water. There's water in there now. And it's been heated, it's heated up. I made this out of tin. I don't have a video on that, but I just took a piece of tin and I just bent it to where it would go around there. This helps to dissipate the heat off of the pipe right there. Now when the dampener gets here, I'm going to put a hole up here for the dampener. I'm going to run it kind of high. As you can see, the pipe runs down in here from there to there. But I want the dampener up high because this gives us enough room here. The smoke needs enough room to expand somewhere. And this will give it an area when that dampener is turned down about halfway. Smoke can hold up in here as it makes its way out. It makes its way out. And that's another reason why I built the heater like I did. Put the door at the bottom and left all this room here for the smoke to gather up to where it can make its way out the pipe. Uh, what else? Okay, I'm going to be changing out my stove pipe cap. This thing right here. This has worked and performed pretty good the way it's designed. It keeps air from coming into the pipe from up here at the top. As you can see, the air would have to go over the top and it would pull out. If it blows downward, it can't get in the pipe. Okay? All that's good. This is the good kind to have. 
But where the problem comes in, where the problem comes in, if you look right up under here, if wind could swoop down and come up, which is not that often, but it can every once in a while, it can blow right up in there and hit the cap and go down in the pipe and blow back out your heater. That's what it will do. It'll blow back into the room through your heater, smoke. So that's the problem. Now what I'm doing, fixing to do, let me take you around there and show you. It's gonna be easier to show you than tell you. Okay, I hope that's all coming in where I got the camera set. I have went and got some teas. I went to Lowe's and got these. These are galvanized teas. Um, I couldn't find any of the black ones, but these will do good. They're, they're, they're covered, they're, they put together good. They're put together real good. I'm happy with them. But I'm gonna be putting three teas together to make a cap. That's my plan, to make a, a cap up there. We start off with the top one coming down on the pipe like that. Your stove pipe be coming up through here and it's be going right and left, okay? And then we take another T and we stick it on the side. Just like that. And then we take another T and we stick it on the other side. On our table. I'm gonna have to move the camera. There's no way you can see that. Okay, let me give you a walk around. Here's the plan here. Here's what's gonna happen. The stove pipe will come up through the middle and then it can exhaust out both ways. But the good news for that is when wind blows across the top here, it's gonna pull it out. It's gonna pull all the smoke out. When the wind blows across the bottom here, it's gonna pull the smoke out under here. As the same over here. It's gonna, when the wind blows across the top, it's gonna to pull the smoke out. On the bottom, when the wind blows, it pulls the smoke out. This is up there on top of the pipe, not sitting on a table in imagination form. Okay, if the wind blows down, when the wind blows down through here, let me get past the table here. When the wind blows down through here, it can't go up in there. And if it does, it may just blow to the other side over there and come out. There's less chance of getting any downdraft coming back into your heater, going back into the room, with this setup, with three T's. With three T's set up like that, you're getting four times the draft with this setup. It'll draft here, here, it'll draft here, and there, four times. So to put this together, what I'm gonna have to do, that jet pass over. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but what I gotta do here is I gotta pop a few couple of screws here. And, uh, and over here, I got to crimp this. This is a crimping tool. I'll find them on eBay and show it to you. But uh, I gotta crimp this side here to slide up in there. That's crimping right there. And uh, let me get set up and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put screws down here where this won't come out. And I like to use these little bitty uh, self-tapping screws. There's some short ones like this. You can find them on eBay too. They got like a little drill bit on the end here. It's a little Phillips head, and they got longer ones too. I don't know if this is the three quarter, this may be the half, I'm not sure. But we're gonna be putting the short ones in there. 
a three quarter. Just needs two, right there. And like I said, they're self tappers. Make sure he's on there real good. Marvelous times we're living in right now. Enjoy all this new fancy stuff. Now I gotta put one on the other side. I gotta pull it back in. Try to hold it in place. Okay, there's one, that ain't coming out. Now I gotta crimp the other one. And how that crimping tool works, it's got these jaws here, and I don't know if it's adjustable to go any deeper or not. I guess that's a lock. Yeah, that's to lock it now, okay. And um, you stick your metal up in there, and you just squeeze. Well, down here. And when you release, there's a crimp there. And you come over, and you crimp it again. And what you're doing when you're crimping that, is you're shortening the metal in here to not be this length, where it will fit down, where it will fit down inside here. You seeing this? Where it will fit down inside here. So, that's my plan. I've got to crimp this one here. Actually, I gotta crimp this one. So we're fixing to crimp it right now. Push your tool all the way up on the end. Squeeze, squeeze good. Come over a little bit. Crimp it again. I gotta go all the way around. There it is. You can almost tell that it's, it's going inward right there. See right here where it's smaller? Huh. Should have flipped that over. I'm gonna flip this one over for sure. Slide it down in there. It's in there, but I want to I want to add some screws to make sure that it stays. That crimping is a little different from that tool. Make sure it's up in there good. As soon as you go in, you stop drilling or you'll ream it out and then you won't have any threads. But there it is. Okay, we gotta go to the ladder and install it. And when I do that, I'm gonna put a couple screws in the pipe because this is a lot of weight up there. I don't want the wind blowing it off. Are you ready?
I had, I've already put it up. I put the screws in it. I'm on the roof. You ready? Here it is. There it is. Boy, ain't that a whopper, huh? Yeah. It will pull air or pull smoke from four ways. When the wind goes across here, it'll pull smoke across here, across here, and down here. And if the wind blows through there, it still won't go into here. So at this point, you got a lot of draft here pull. And inside, you will definitely have to put a dampener, which I've ordered the dampener. dampener. The dampener inside the pipe will be here today. And I will be having to add a dampener because this is going to pull all your heat out too. I mean, it's going to pull some smoke. Boy, that is a beautiful thing. Three, three T's. Three T's. And uh, the pipe is a little bit up off the roof. There's the bottom of the roof. That's high enough. Boy, I bet it's sucking in there now. I haven't, I don't have a fire going right now, but we will go light a fire. Okay, battery went dead, but it's time to move on anyhow. Okay, now we're gonna do the smoke drafting check. Just to show you how this thing really pulls in smoke, okay? And, uh, I'm gonna light it down here, but I gotta end up putting it out because then the smoke was what we need, not the flame. The flame is heavier than the smoke. See how it's, see how it's pulling it in? And I'm outside the door at least good two inches, two and a half inches. And it's pulling it in. Let me light it again, see if I can demonstrate that. Get you a little closer even. This is what it's all about. It's drafting the smoke out of the room. See it pulling in? Okay, let's build a fire. Get the camera. We'll walk around. All right. I keep my little wood pieces down in here. This is a uh, crawfish pot, basically. I couldn't find the top for it, but I had an old hubcap. This is an old Ford hubcap. Right there. That's when they used to use the uh, the uh, shield emblem. This is back in the 50s. But I got my wood here. This is the axe that I redone the other day. I, re -shar I sharpened it and uh, painted it back. Sends this right here. Uh, this is an old axe. It's been around here for a while. Now, I made this little box here. This is a two by eight, maybe a two by eight. I put a screw through the bottom where it comes up in the middle here. This is that Cortex board, that plastic cardboard stuff. Now, the reason for this is if I, need, if I want to split wood, say it's raining outside, it's cold outside, and I need to get a fire started, and I need some kindling to start. So I take this and I put it right there where the screw is. I hammer it down on there, it's on that screw. The screw only comes up for like maybe a half inch. Something like that. It comes up like a half inch, it's down on the screw. So now after hammering it down, this keeps 
all the little debris from going all over the room. I can split that wood right here and save the floor from getting trashed up. See, it even collects the wood. There's part of the wood right there inside there. One got out. But most of them's down in there. Put it back on the screw. Well, a couple got out. But most of it's getting inside. I'll show you in a minute. That one's on the screw. See, you don't hold it, less chance of losing fingers, too. Well, this is everything that I've collected up in there. See, there's the floor, very little, but there is a little bit, but that might have been before I even started. But uh, there's all the uh, all the pieces there. And then you can just put that hatchet right back in there, slide it up under there. But now, before I do anything, I need to clean this out a little bit. It's nasty in there, because I had a fire going last night. It's nasty in there. I had a fire going last night. But uh, I got my little ashtray in there. I got some big pieces here. This is my granddaddy's poker, too. They made it on a real forge years ago, probably back in the 50s somewhere. I was really unfortunate to end up with that. Okay. Yeah, I was burning some trash and stuff, paper, cardboard. If I can drag some that stuff into the, the tray down there. It's really easy to clean with that ashtray. Makes a big difference. I'll finish cleaning it later. Of course, I really won't. That one I need to go dump. And look at that one, it's full too. But I'll, I'll dump them later. That's going to start a fire. I want to show you how easy it is to start a fire. We're going to get our wood over here. We're going to put a chunk of wood on the right and one on the left. Then we're gonna put some of these little pieces inside there. I don't have a light to make it brighter in there. I really needed some longer pieces.
All right. Here's what I've done. I've got a log over here, a log right there. And then I bridged these little pieces across this way and then to the front and back, like a little bridge. Then I put my paper underneath here. I'm gonna open up this vent here, open up this vent here. I can actually crack this door just a little bit to build a draft underneath. And then I'm going to put this shovel here on top here, just, just holding it there, to build up the heat underneath like a stove. And that wood would catch a lot faster. Just holding this little flat shovel on top. I'm just, it's not resting on it. Now, if you've got some good sticks and stuff in there, they're strong, then you could rest the, the shovel on top. And after your fire starts, then you can remove the shovel. But it holds the heat down to where it gets hot and burns any moisture out of the wood where the wood would go ahead and get started. And as soon as you get coals, you got a fire for the rest of the day. Keep adding to it, you'll have a fire on into the night. And it's drawing pretty good so far. But I want you to hear something. I'm going to close this door. I want you to hear it roar. I want you to hear it. I can hear it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. But it's roaring. And look at that fire. Just that easy. And I'm going to add a few more little pieces to it. Now once I get some coals, Then I can add some bigger stuff. And for this wood heater, I can cut stuff actually like, oh, I don't know, 12 inches, 15 inches long to put in there. I'm not burning this one. But I'm probably going to put this fire out in a little bit because it's like 65, 70 degrees outside. So that means it's probably 75 or 80 in here. Too hot for a fire. But I just wanted to walk you through it. Like I said, it's got vents on the bottom. Let me see if it'll roar now. Let's pull this little door out for you to listen. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, that sound. Actually, let's go outside and look at the smoke. Okay, here we go. I'm standing on the roof again. You can see that smoke coming out both sides. It's not coming out the bottom of them, but it's coming out the top. 
that one too I can see some in it too so it's definitely working good now that fire will burn off pretty fast that's in there without a dampener and I'll show a picture up here here's a dampener I've got one ordered it's supposed to be here today probably this afternoon and I don't know if by the time I finish this video if I'm going to make a video on installing a dampener or not there's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to install a dampener but with this fire pulling like this I could take that dampener and cut it down maybe about halfway close it off about almost halfway and it'll save my it'll save my wood my fire will heat up good and with this drawing like this it will draw it out all the smoke and then I can leave the door open as you seen. here's another view from the ground so you can see right up through there and there's the other side get the Sun out of the lens that will really draw some smoke out of the heater See, this is my setup out here I took a piece of bed rail ran it from the house put a 2 by 4 under there to hold the bed rail up drilled a hole through there screw and then came out here and anchored it with some wire I may use some strapping and then use a pipe to go from there all the way to the ground and also put a piece of wire under here the loop under the pipe and go back up so it's, it's pretty well stable so with the setup I've got here I could actually open this door open it slow you don't want to pull anything out any kind of smoke and just leave the door open and let it let the fire burn sit here and watch the fire of course I need to put this door back on there and it cleaned up but yeah I found my little this top thing here this uh, hubcap for an old Ford car probably out of the early 60s or 50s but it's in good shape and it fit right in there see it's down in there I got me a piece of wood here running through the uh, valve core where the valve stem would come out and I can lift it up all right guys that's it I see my fan ain't come on yet ah. and my dampener should be here where I can put my dampener up here I don't know if you can see it but there's smoke coming up right here and it's going on in right here next to where the door frame is I mean it's drafting good there's no smoke coming out it's all going that away that's what you want that way you can leave your door open you can watch your fire you can feel your fire you can enjoy your fire and if you got to leave the house or go out front just close your door and lock it right there and you're safe and you still got vents down here that's it guys I'll catch you later uh, work on your uh, wood heater bye viewing the video or giving us a like or subscribing makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment don't you agree?